For the next problem, we're going to find the surface area given the base and the height. Let's read the problem. The base of the following pyramid is a square. What is the surface area of the pyramid? Round the answer to the nearest hundredth. So if we take a look at our picture down here, we have the height of the pyramid and we have the side length of the base of the pyramid. But we are missing the slant height. And if we remember the surface area formula is S squared plus 2SL, which means we need the slant height in order to find the surface area. So we need to first figure out how can we get the surface area. And then we remember we have Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem tells us that there is this relationship between the height of the pyramid and the slant height that comes from this right triangle formed inside the pyramid. So if we redraw that triangle outside the pyramid, the height is 10 inches, the slant height I'm going to call L, and the half of the side length is 4. So we could set up 10 squared plus 4 squared equals L squared. We would get 116 equals L squared, and L would equal the square root of 116. Again, 116 is not a perfect square, so we'll approximate our answer at 10.77. So our slant height is 10.77 inches. I'm going to write that into the picture. Now we can use our slant height, or I'm sorry, our surface area formula. So in our surface area formula, we'll plug 8 in for the side, so we'll have 8 squared plus 2 times 8 times 10.77. And if we do the multiplication and addition out, we'll find that the surface area is 236.32 inches squared.